Hey, I'm Joe Scully, chef owner of Corner Kitchen in Chestnut. Today I'm wearing my Corner Kitchen shirt. Um, and I'm not sure what that means, but that's okay. Um, I love tomato jam because of the amazing transformation that it goes through. So I'm gonna start out um, by showing you what we do for the basic product. This is five pounds of tomatoes. Um, I use Roma tomatoes. You just take the very top off of them and discard these and then just slice them up finely like so and you don't have to be really that intense about it some people would want to peel their tomatoes for this product but I don't feel the need because it cooks for so long that the peels actually become part of everything so I'm just going to finish up getting this up to the amount of tomatoes that we want to start with and this is a very simple recipe and you need to let it simmer because you don't want to like really uh, cook it too hard because it'll it'll really it can caramelize really badly you don't want to put all this work in and then not have a a good batch so you put your tomatoes into a, a nice wide pot you can see it's a stainless steel pot because you don't want to use aluminum because it's a reactive metal and this is one where you just combine everything right away. Um, you got lime juice, you've got um, cloves, cinnamon, some crushed red pepper, and then you use three cups of sugar, which is a lot of sugar, but this is a preserve, so don't be shy, it'll be okay. And you can just kind of measure this with a nice cup measure. And then it calls for some fresh ginger. And I'm going to move this pot off to the side. The fresh ginger is right here. I'm going to toss what we have in here. But I want to do a quick demo of uh, peeling ginger because it seems like it's kind of one of those things that a lot of people don't know. But to peel ginger, all you got to do is take the, a spoon and scrape it along the outside skin of the ginger like this. and that gets all the peel off of it. You can take some of the imperfections away with the spoon and you get down to the point where you can do whatever you want with it. And in this case, for this particular preparation, what I do is I take the ginger and I use a microplane and I just draw it across the microplane. This is one where you can really do a nice job on your fingers if you're not careful. And it, this particular recipe calls for two teaspoons of grated fresh ginger. So you can see that we've got, you know, out of that one little bit of ginger, you've already got one teaspoon. And so you, maybe this much would make two teaspoons and that's ready to go. So I just wanted to show you that. So then what you do is you take this and you put it on a stove. You can bring it up to a hard boil right away. Um, and what that'll do is it will uh, get the thing going, but then you want to turn the fire way down and let it simmer for a really, really long time. And what you have here at the very end is you've got this, I mean, it is really a, um, it's a homogenous, it's a, it's absolutely a jam. I mean, it is really, really got a nice viscosity. And as far as uses go, I would put this on a roast beef sandwich all day long, or a, a roast turkey sandwich would be good. But you can also serve it with uh, any number of cheese platters and that kind of thing as well. It's just a great condiment. And the thing I like about it is when you give it to somebody in a little uh, ball jar like this, it's not so much that they don't know quite what to do with it. And some people would just take a taste of this and they would just stand there and eat the whole thing. So it's crazy. Anyway. So that's tomato jam, um, and it's one of the many things that we make at uh, Corner Kitchen because we like to make food, uh, not just heat food up. And it's really important to us to have handcrafted products, and this is one of the ones that we use on a regular basis.